Hey guys, it's Kaido here, and today I bring to you my infinite iframes build. Now, I say that because this build stacks with so many iframes. Now, obviously, we got ghosts and all the good stuff with dodging, but we also got lightning clones, which is amazing, and you can play it exactly like Prediction because it's got, like, no wind-up to it. So, it's very, very fun to use to just get out of things. And then also, the Storm's Eye crit, this also gives you iframes. And on top of that, we also have illusionary um, servants, so it just works really well. The synergy is great with all the iframes, because usually I pop servants, I put the taunt on, and that goes crazy. That's, that's, that synergy is also insane, just taunt of servants is wildly good. And then when they try to actually hit me, boom, I pop my lightning clones, and then boom, I pop my crit. And that's like a good couple seconds of iframes where they're forced to fight my clone while I'm basically backing away, and like I'm impossible to hit. So yeah, that's like the entire concept of the build, and let's just get straight into how the build works and the intricacies. So going into our stats, pause! Only 5% of you guys are actually subscribed, so if you guys do enjoy my videos and the content I make, and you constantly find yourselves coming back to the channel, please, please subscribe, it's free and it helps me out a ton. And with that said, enjoy the video. This is the stats of the build right here. Now, as of now, this build is unobtainable because they did recently also increase the requirements of Storm's Eye from 25 to 40. So if I unequip the Storm's Eye, I'm basically fucked. I can't equip it again. Um, I would be forced to wipe unless I want to run around with a katana. Um, so yeah, the stats of the build isn't anything too special. We get all the good cards we need. The main thing is we go 60 Charisma to get level 4 Taunt just so it lasts really long. And you get basically a, um, a Grim proc for like a good 14 seconds on your opponent. So yeah, that's like the main thing of this build, the main, I guess, gimmick. Also, clones, obviously. But yeah, nothing too special with the stats. The build can definitely be improved in many, many ways. And I would put an improved link with the updated requirements for Storm's Light in the description. So yeah. Going into our mantras, we've got Grand Javelin. Definitely a solid combat mantra and a must-have. Good heals of Bloodless as well. Um, Illusionary Servants, basically the best thing that Vision Shaper offers and the entire reason we go Vision Shaper. Turns any fight in from a 1v1 to a 2v1. Or if you're getting like outnumbered then you're in ganks, it basically evens it out a bit. It's very, very good. Um, Jolt Grab. Definitely a flex spot. You can swap it out if you want to. You can use um, Electro Carve instead. Electro Carve also works very well with this build. Um, to be fair, I should probably go roll for it as well. Um, Lightning Clones. This is very good, especially with Static Withdraw. You just pop it, and it's like it functions very similar to Prediction actually, because it's got zero wind up. It casts instantly. So if you see someone swinging in you right in their face, you just pop it. You reposition and then go into a crit. Very very good. Good synergy there. And also free iframes and works really well with your clones. So yeah, going into Lightning Blades. Oh sorry, Storm Blades. Um, this is I use storm cage just so I can trap people in here and when I pop my clone They don't they can't run away because often when I pop it people end up just dashing and trying to leave the fight until my clone goes So this stops that from happening and forces that 2v1 to happen if not And if you don't want to really use this version of lightning um, storm blades Definitely the actual normal version of storm blades is very good as well It's amazing combo potential and if you do end up using the normal version put I think two strats on it It makes it so the visual of storm blades doesn't match the actual hitbox so you can catch people out with it That's also very good. So that's a little tip for you guys um, Our mobility is obviously lightning cloak surprisingly lightning cloak is a mobility mantra Even though you don't use mobility you only use it as either support for your own like sake or um as a combat mantra, so it functions more like that. So it's weird that it's in your ability slot, but hey, I'll take it. No complaints from me. So with Lightning Cloak, very, very good. You definitely want to pick it up because when you proc it and like you pop your clone, the Lightning Cloak goes onto your clone. So it's a very, very good synergy. You should definitely use Lightning Cloak instead of, um, I think the other mobility for Lightning is Lightning Assault. Yeah, definitely Lightning Cloak is better for this build. Um, going into our support, Illusionary Realm. This shit's fucking ass. I barely use it. It just sits in my inventory. Um, but yeah, don't use it. It's not good. It's also kind of buggy. Um, I guess it has the situations, but other than that, wouldn't recommend. Now, the good support, like the S tier support, before I had a reinforce. Reinforce recently got gutted, so I rolled it for taunt, and I was able to get level 4 taunt, and I made the improved version of this build also have level 4 taunt. So, yeah, this, um,. This is very good. You basically get Grim on your opponent for like 20 seconds. Oh no, 14 seconds precisely. So Taunt S tier, very good. You pop your clone, you pop Taunt, you have Lightning Cloak on and you just go ham. It's so good. And my campfire disappeared. Wait, let me pop it again. Tell you about the last few mantras. Um, and then we got Rising Thunder. Heals a fuck ton of HP, very, very good. And Thunder Kick, just a really good guard break. You just pop it and the good combo is Thunder Kick guard break into a Rising Thunder. And that shit does like a bar of damage. When Taunt is on, it does like a bar and a half. Even more than that. So yeah, those are the mantras I use. Definitely, you can like change it. It's up to you. You can use whatever the fuck you want to use with your mantras. These are the ones I use and the ones I recommend. So yeah. 
All right, going straight into the summary. The summary is decent. It can definitely push 500 HP. It can go way past that and definitely push more posture with the way the stats work. Um, that's just if you really focus on mid-maxing it. I just haven't been bothered to mid-max it yet. But yeah, the stats are quite good. We got, obviously, um, you can definitely push um, 40 physical as well. It's just the gears lacking. Honestly, like most of the things with this build, it still like has to be finished. The concept still works like it's one of them builds that without even having to mid max it it still performs really well and it's still it's very fun to play so yeah that's how you know the build's good because it's not mid max and it still cooks people so even when you do decide to mid max the build it becomes even better so yeah so next we've got the talents all the talents you'd possibly need will be in the build link as well i will pick them all out for you guys but i'll just scroll through them you can scroll down the video and have a look for yourself i guess i'll point out some main ones that you definitely need um yep okay let me point out some like good ones you definitely want uh obviously to the finish exo that shit's really good nullifying clarity ether blade charge return especially charge return this shit's very good as well um stronghold steady nerves this shit is very good it actually gives you tempo back on dodges as well this is like an s tier card um you want oh ever-changing ages not many people like it i think it's a great card because uh 20 less damage from an, like in a 1v1 and someone's using one achievement it procs always and the cooldown isn't that long as well for you to switch to achievements with which you like your defense is up against so yeah, yeah ever-changing ages is very very good you should always pick it up and um, obviously all the good posture cards i mean dazing cards so those are all very good charisma cards um, but if we go to our strength, we've got like all the good posture cards and wavering resolve, very good. Stronghold we get from our helmet as always. I should fucking love the 40 helm. Like I said, steady nerves, doorless dance. You just want to get a bunch of posture cards as well, just to stack as much posture as possible. Um, you can definitely push way higher posture than I have on this build. I think I only have around 30. You can push like around like 35 to 40. But yeah, those are just all the talents we have. Nothing really out of the ordinary. That basically sums it up for the build. The build's really fun to play. It's great. It's an S tier build. Definitely one of my favorite builds I've made. Um, slightly build carried, but also very, very fun. Um, if you want to see in performance or exactly how I prog this specific build, I have an entire video on it. You can see right on the top left. So go give that a watch. If not, go to the right and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day.